All right, so this video is going to be pretty simple. It's going to be basically installing ESXi, uh, or sorry, VMware ESXi 8.0 onto a Dell PowerEdge R640 using the iDRAC 9 console. We are not going to be using any physical keyboard, uh, mouse, or monitor, or any physical KVM or KVM console. You're just going to be using the iDRAC 9. First things you want to do is you're going to want to go to the... Uh, the iDRAC. In my case, it's going to be 10.11.206.12. So we're going to log in. As you can see, this is the iDRAC with the enterprise license. You will need the enterprise license in order to do this. So I'm going to enter my credentials. Okay. There's that. Okay. As you're signing in, looks good. Well, we do have some issues. This is just a. Uh, Critical power error because I only have one of the power supplies plugged in. That I will fix. But everything else should be okay. So next up, we're going to want to make sure that our physical disks are detected. Oh, because the, store, the server is off, our physical disks will not be detected. Uh, the goal is to be installing ESXi onto a RAID 1 of, near, uh, RAID 1 of two SSDs. So first things, we're going to want to go to the virtual console, make sure your pop -up, you allow pop-ups for this server, or for this address, power that up. Um, we're going to want to go to virtual media, actually, no, virtual media we're going to leave off for that. Go to boot, go to, and make sure we boot into the BIOS, the BIOS setup, not BIOS boot, BIOS setup. And then power on the server. You will need the VMware ESXi ISO for this process, just as an FYI. I'm going to speed through this uh, whole process because nothing really interesting. Since we have triggered the BIOS to boot into setup, it, there's nothing else we need to do. So I'm just going to leave that and let it do its thing. So now that we're in the BIOS, basically what we're going to need to do is first go to make sure that our server is actually set up for virtualization. We'll first go into the BIOS, go to process system information, yay, we're Dell R640. Uh, memory information, make sure that we are in performance mode, optimizer, good. Processor settings, we have virtualization enabled, hardware prefetcher enabled, Make sure all our cores are enabled. Yep, sweet. Don't really need to worry about SATA. We could do NVMe, that's kind of nice. Boot mode, UEFI. We are going to want to disable Pixie. Looks good. Okay, now go into device settings, integrated RAID controller, give it a second to load up. Uh, we're going to go into configuration management, create new virtual disk, RAID type 1, select physical disks from configured, select physical disks. SSD, you see all of them, check all, no changes, great, we're going to do the ES, we're going to create our name, ESXi-boot, you cannot do spaces in this name, it's stupid, but it is what it is, uh, right back, and then create virtual data, confirm, these are blank SSDs, so I don't really care what goes on them. Or if there's anything on them. They are 
They are to be destroyed for this process. Oh, what's this? Additional disks cannot be configured with the one. Okay. Weird. So did it make our disk? Okay, it made our disk. That's interesting. Must have not... Uh, the other one that I configured just put me back into this menu, so... Weird. Alright, now that that's done, we're going to reboot. And get back into... Uh, yeah, we're just going to reboot. Okay, so boot. Next up, we're going to go to our virtual ISO. I did... Oh, I seriously just did that. Oh, I'm stupid. Okay. I'm going to get back in here. I'm going to power off the server real quick. Just because I want to do this the right way. Virtual media. Connect virtual media. I'm going to browse an image for our map CD. Blur my downloads. Open our VMware ESXi. We're going to want the ESXi installer. So it's going to be, it's, the naming schema should look something like this. VMware Vi, VM Visor installer. Blah, 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 blah. This, should be, this is 802. 80 And then map close. I'm gonna go back to boot. Make sure we're booting into the CD DVD ISO. Then power on. Now it's just gonna boot just like it did into the BIOS. Into but in this time it's gonna boot into the uh, ESXi installer. So I'm gonna speed this up for you. All right, now we're here. So we're just gonna continue. Oh, no, don't turn off. Okay, continue, I'm gonna bring up the keyboard because MacBook go burr. Uh, F11, I'm gonna scan. Looking for install drives. Okay, great, we found our perk. Our RAID 1, let's use that. Yep. Yep. Entering my password. Okay. Yep. I'm aware that they're going to be repartitioned. Okay. And just let it go. This should take only a few minutes. Alright, VMware is installed, and now we're just going to reboot. Shouldn't take too long. We'll just show that it's booting up into the, uh, into the uh, installation, and then that'll uh, end the video. Oh, 
off. Just one thing I forgot to do. I'm going to disconnect the virtual media since we don't need it anymore. Sorry about that. So I actually paused the recording because it got stuck at uh, at booting up the uh, at doing life cycle. So I'm gonna actually just cut in some just editor note, cut in uh, footage from uh, the other video. All right. So now we are booted into ESXi. Uh, that's pretty much the rest of this. Vi that's pretty much all the video. Uh, thank you guys for, for watching. I hope this was helpful in either your professional or laboratory needs or hell maybe this is even home lab for you for uh, technically for me it is so yeah thank you guys for watching and uh yeah have a good one hope this was helpful